Mike Tyson erupted at a recent press conference after Jake Paul disrespected him ahead of their much-anticipated fight. As tensions rise, Lennox Lewis, a former rival of Tyson, expressed confidence that Tyson could present serious challenges for Paul in their upcoming bout. There are concerns that Tyson might be stepping into a lopsided fight, especially considering Paul's recent knockout of Mike Perry in the sixth round. Tyson, who retired in 2005, hasn't fought in the ring since his exhibition match against Roy Jones JR in 2020, which ended in a draw. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day, he's fat. I don't... Did you start training already? Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. Despite Tyson's age and time away from the ring, Lewis believes Tyson's vast experience could give him an edge. In a May interview with The Guardian, Lewis stated that his primary concern was for Jake Paul's safety, noting that Tyson still packs a powerful punch. He warned that if Paul gets hit by one of Tyson's punches, it would leave a significant mark. Lewis also pointed out that Tyson's ability to move forward and cut off the ring could test Paul's defensive skills. After seeing Tyson recently, Lewis was impressed by how fit he looked, adding that Tyson seemed to be in good shape for the fight. Jake Paul, on the other hand, acknowledged the seriousness of the fight and expressed respect for Tyson, whom he called a legend. He couldn't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. How he's gonna knock me out? What's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He didn't knock those little guys. How he's gonna knock me out? Who, who did he knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. I can't even get mad at this guy because everybody knows this guy talking out of his ass. <laughs> and stealing money. I'm up here, you're stealing money fighting him. Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm a Paul admitted that many people considered him foolish for taking on Tyson, but he emphasized that taking risks was part of why he entered the sport. He is determined to secure another knockout and prove his critics wrong once again. Paul also mentioned that it was an honor to fight Tyson, who he sees as one of the most famous boxers alongside Muhammad Ali. However, Paul made it clear that he intends to dethrone Tyson. Tyson, however, was quick to dismiss Paul's chances of winning, ridiculing Paul's previous opponents and questioning how Paul could knock him out when he struggled against smaller fighters like Nick Dyers and Anderson Silva. Tyson seemed unfazed by Paul's bravado, stating that everyone knows Paul is talking out of his ass and stealing money. He expressed confidence that he would finish Paul just as he started him, making it clear that he has no intention of losing the fight. The question is for Jake. Obviously, uh, Mike is one of the biggest hitters that the heavyweight division has ever seen. Um, I just want to know, when you're thinking about his power, he looks very ferocious on Instagram, especially still. Um, do you feel like you'll be able to take Mike Tyson's power at this stage? I know I will be able to. I'm, I'm a natural born heavyweight. This is, this, is, this is what I was born to do, is to move up into this weight class, and I'm gonna show Mike who has the more power, because he's underestimating me, I think everyone else is underestimating me, and I believe that I hit harder. I know it's gonna be tough, I know I'm gonna have to fight through adversity, I know I might even go to the canvas. I'm, I'm scared, don't get me wrong, but it's not about the fear stopping me, it's about going into it even though I am scared, and that's what true bravery is. Mike, can, can he take the power, Mike? Excuse me? Can Jake take your power? We're gonna see, huh? As the bout approaches, the tension between the two fighters continues to escalate, with both determined to prove their worth in the ring. The boxing world watches eagerly as the November 15th showdown on Netflix draws near. Nate Diaz, a celebrated figure from UFC's golden era, faced Jake Paul in the boxing ring in August 2023, marking his first venture into the sport outside the octagon. The bout, which took place at cruiserweight, saw Diaz go the full 10 rounds, showcasing his resilience despite being knocked down in the fifth round. However, the judges ultimately awarded Paul a unanimous decision victory. Diaz, never one to shy away from controversy, claimed it was the easiest fight of his life and felt he should have won. He remarked, that was the biggest I've ever been and the laziest I've ever been. He's not very scary, so it was hard to give a HET about. I still think I won the fight. I think I lost two rounds in the whole fight. 
Diaz went on to describe the fight as like a training day, emphasizing that despite the challenges of every fight, this one felt particularly easy to him. He mentioned that Paul was his biggest option. At the time, and even though it was the longest fight he had ever participated in, he still considered it his easiest. Jake, you never responded to the challenge. You publicly stated that I use cocaine. I do not. So I told you, you could randomly cocaine test me for the next 10 years. I believe that you're a cheater, and I believe that you use steroids. So I want to randomly steroid test you for the next... Jake Paul, whose only defeat came at the hands of Tommy Fury, was originally scheduled to face the legendary Mike Tyson on July 20th. However, Tyson had to delay the bout due to a flare-up of an ulcer, forcing the 58-year-old to push the fight back. In a statement at the time, Tyson expressed gratitude to his fans for their support and understanding. He shared, unfortunately, due to my ulcer flare-up, I have been advised by my doctor to lighten my training for a few weeks to rest and recover. My body is in better overall shape than it has been since the 1990s, and I will be back to my full training schedule soon. The bout, now rescheduled for the end of the year, has generated significant buzz. When asked about the upcoming clash, Diaz confidently backed Tyson, stating, I like it. I think it's cool. I think Mike Tyson all the way. Former cruiserweight world champion Tony Bellew also weighed in on the matter, expressing concern for Tyson's well-being. In a conversation with Boyle Sports, Bellew admitted that while Tyson is likely earning between $20 million to $50 million for the fight, the idea of Jake Paul hurting the former undisputed heavyweight champion deeply troubled him. Bellew said, If Jake Paul hurts Mike Tyson, it would absolutely kill me. If he hurt Mike Tyson and I then run into Jake Paul, I'd chin him quite happily. I would even spend a couple weeks in the big house for that. Bellew further criticized the match as not being a legitimate professional contest, noting that only women fight two-minute rounds men do not fight two minutes he expressed hope that Tyson would chin him and put him to sleep in six or seven seconds. Adding to the tension, Anthony Taylor, a former sparring partner of Jake Paul, has dubbed Mike Tyson a lamb to the slaughter as the controversial boxing match approaches. Taylor who has been impressed by Paul's recent knockout of Mike Perry, issued a stark warning to Tyson, suggesting that the former champion will face significant difficulty against Paul when they meet in the ring in just over three months. Anthony Taylor, a longtime associate of Jake Paul, has raised concerns about Mike Tyson's upcoming fight against the YouTuber-turned-boxer. Taylor, who has worked closely with Paul, believes Tyson should reconsider the match, drawing a comparison to KSI, who previously pulled out of a fight. He stressed, Tyson is a lamb to slaughter and expressed fear of a potentially concussive outcome, emphasizing that Paul has evolved into a real fighter. Despite the warnings from influential figures in the boxing community urging both Tyson and Paul to cancel the bout, the fight remains on track, with neither competitor heeding the external pressures. One minor advantage for Tyson is the fight's format, which will consist of two-minute rounds instead of the usual three. Tyson's last bout, an exhibition match against Roy Jones JR, in 2020 ended in a draw, which some say foreshadows his upcoming challenge. Taylor further commented on Tyson's physical condition, saying, when Tyson tires, Jake will make Tyson pay. Jake's cardio is next level. Meanwhile, Paul, fresh off a victory over Mike Perry, has been stirring up controversy, even poking fun at UFC fighter Alex Pereira. This led to speculation about a potential fight between Paul and Pereira. However, UFC President Dana White quickly dismissed the idea in an interview with TNT Sports. White, who was on vacation in Italy at the time of Paul's recent fight, admitted that he hadn't been following Paul's career closely since his loss to Tommy Fury. He remarked when Paul fought someone his age who actually boxed, he lost White clarified that he has no ongoing issues with Paul, stating, it doesn't even cross my mind. I have no beef with him. It's all rubbish. As the tension builds, a highly anticipated press conference is scheduled for August 18th, 2024, in New York City, where Mike Tyson and Jake Paul will come face to face. The event, moderated by ESPN's Ryan Clark, will take place at the Javits Center during Fanatics Fest. Michael Rubin, CEO of Fanatics, expressed excitement about the press conference, saying, hosting the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson press conference at Fanatics Fest Noisy is a testament to our vision. This event embodies the energy, excitement, and passion that we aim to bring to every Fanatics Fest experience. 
The countdown to the clash continues as Tyson and Paul prepare for their much-anticipated showdown on Friday, November 15th at at T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The event, which will be streamed live on Netflix, marks the streaming giant's debut in the world of major boxing. The Tyson-Paul fight will headline an exciting card that promises to deliver a night of thrilling action. The upcoming fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson is generating immense excitement, with the event being part of a monumental card that includes a highly anticipated rematch between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, as well as a bout featuring Niraj Goyet against Worsen Nunes. Jake Paul has been vocal about his preparation and mindset leading up to the fight, particularly after his victory over Mike Perry, which he described...